Peggy 18 It's insane. <laughs> It blows my mind just the levels that the storyline goes to. It just crosses all boundaries. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. So in a nutshell, um, years have passed since the events of Saints Row 3. And uh, the player, uh, through a heroic action that you get to go and play a part of in the beginning of the game, is kind of thrust into more fame and adulation, you know, it's the respect of America. And as a result, he becomes the president of the United States. But around this time, that is when Zinyak and the evil Zen invaders come in. They abduct the president, they abduct all of your homies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a time for fear, but a time for celebration. Today, the best and brightest among you will find salvation within the Zin Empire. They put you in a strange version of Steel Core to try to twist your mind and get you to become part of the Zen. But unbeknownst to Zinyak, you're a psychopath, you don't really play by his rules, and you rebel against him. And so you break out of the simulation, you have to work to get your allies and ultimately take the fight to Zinyak. Is this virtual reality prison that you're placed in, it really lets us go and play with reality and put us in unique situations that are tailored to the characters. This isn't a born again thing, is it? No, she's future you. It's so different than anything we could go and do in the real world. It's pretty wild. It's, it's an interesting ride for sure. It's easy to sort of be concerned that it's too crazy, but in terms of Saints Row and where the franchise has come and where it's going, it makes sense. Nothing was out of bounds. We could do literally anything. What the fuck? We don't use that kind of language here in Steelboard. We're definitely turning the tables on the aliens. For all the misery that they have inflicted on the human race, being able to use an anal probe on them seems only just. 